October is a hot cup of coffee. It's mom's pumpkin pie with real whipped cream. It's your favorite jacket with the rips and the patches. Those worn boots with the scuffs and the scratches. A loaded wood stove, a hand-knit hat, the heater, and your old truck. It's all the things that never failed you, and everything that feels like home. You up in the sky, I'll carry you home. Home to the mountain near. And soon, my friend, you'll see them again. Once you left behind, the ones you left behind, and I'll sing for you. It wasn't too far into October when my brother came home from Montana, and Noah was up from Georgia too, so we knew we'd have some good fall days together. Allie and I were back from our early foliage hunting trips, and the plan was to hunker down and edit those videos while making time for the people that matter. And the first time we'd all meet up was the glorious weekend of the local fall festival. You could smell maple fried dough and blueberry cobbler, and feel the jovial excitement in the air. That's yeah. We like to keep life interesting. I'm gonna have to <laughs> reevaluate a couple of things. <laughs> the game. <laughs> Double layer. Double up. This guy got cold fast. <laughs> And so we wandered around the festival for a good few hours to savor the sights and sounds, as this was the pinnacle autumn glory in our hills, and it's gone in a flash every year. Good night. <laughs> 
was off to enjoy sunset before ending the night at the lake house for loaded hot dogs, cocktails, and pool. As October wore on, most of our days were spent hard at work behind the computer, but you can only stare at the screen so long before you go mad, so we broke away here and there to get out and see the update on the Hilltown foliage. Sunday I met the whole family at the Little Red House to go for a back road walk before a big roast dinner.
by an old uninhabited house at the end of a dirt road that was everything I could ever dream of. The perfect inspiration for the kind of property I want to settle into one day. And one morning I met my brother Simon down by the old bridge, where we try to go every year to catch up on life and take film portraits of each other to document our appearances as we grow older. And this year, Simon brought with him a little blue notebook with rough cut bumpy yellow pages where he'd been creating watercolor paintings of fall in the hills. And this morning, he was gonna create one of the old bridge that we grew up under. As we sat on the rocks and had conversations I don't have with anyone else, young kids rode back and forth over the bridge on bikes the same way we used to back in the day. 
and we smiled, knowing the small town was still alive. This literally what I'm looking at, that character. Right. And just, yeah, like it just feels comfortable. It's just wide enough that it's like... I love this. And of all the beautiful moments I had this October, this brief morning with Simon felt the most like home. A good conversation with a best friend is great medicine. And whenever I'm with Simon, I feel my childhood flame ignite. And that flame is a pilot light for creativity. And with each passing day, the tree outside the windows of my apartment grew more and more yellow. And I'd lay on the bed during editing breaks, staring out the window, wishing I could be chasing colors on these pristine October days. But there's no shortcuts to keeping a business running and putting food on the table. And so I maintained discipline when it was necessary. And now that Allie and I weren't running up and down the Northeast, we began more consistent gym sessions and started cooking more in our little kitchen. And it was after a long spree of computer days on a rainy Monday, when I needed a break and Hunter's schedule aligned, that we were able to spend a day exploring the hills in all their vibrance. And we couldn't have asked for a better day to explore. The rain made the foliage shine, and it knocked the leaves off the trees throughout the day. Okay. Kind of makes me want to get. That's the thing; it fills the frame. Yeah. What like it, uh, at really yeah. like full HDR? Because I did HDR like photos that. for it. <laughs> like no, it just that's how you know it's in focus. And we talked cameras and careers, and I even brought him to see that old house I was yearning for, because I knew he'd appreciate it.
got that, it, like that is so crazy looking. And we had a simple and beautiful day and even accidentally made it to the last jazz night ever at one of the local bars. And we enjoyed an energetic soundtrack with a warm dinner in the dreary October night. And, uh... But not technically. <laughs> Frog is on fire and someone knows that the wrong thing will happen at the wrong time. <laughs> That's precisely it and I, I think it's safe to say that this is one of the most enchanting stories. And then it was homemade sourdough bagels the next morning before Hunter took off. And I got back to work and received a text about a future morning meeting at the Dreaming Tree with Simon and Noah. And when the day came, I woke to the first frost of the season, and I drove over the mountain in the twilight to load the red canoe into Old Blue. Now the dreaming tree was mostly bare, signaling the beginning of the end for autumn. Oh, the frost probably makes it slick. back towards the mountain is
and Simon sat on the rock looking toward the hill and started a new painting, and we all skipped stones from the shore. It's on its edge, the first time. mine and see if you can hit it. Alright. Oh, oh my God, that was close. Hold on, I think we can. <laughs> I think we got something here, everyone. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Just straight up. Those, are, those are junk here, I'll give you here. Guys, think it's even possible? No. It has to be. I feel like I mean, you need to do it and, like there's, until it if happens. If it were, if it happens, it's not a matter of like, <laughs> it's not a repeatable thing. <laughs> put the pages down. Can we get the wind guy to put more wind in the hair? <laughs>
was there on that little island in the autumn morning that three souls from the hills of southern New England basked in brotherhood and the simple joy of a campfire. They were genuinely happy, for it was October and they were home. <laughs>